Hi hopefuls, I hope that you're well. I am multitasking. I'm gonna do this video while I cook myself lunch and the kids are eating lunch over there and my battery's dying, so. I just came in from outside with the kids and it's meant to be a high of 52 degrees today. I'm so excited, except for it is meant to snow this week so i don't know how excited i can get since my last video i have turned 32 my birthday was on saturday it was a really chill relaxed birthday originally i had made myself like all kinds of plans that i was gonna go out and do stuff on my own by myself and then once the day got started i was like you know what i would much rather just chill at home so that's what i did and i love a last minute canceled plans it feels like a lot of stress gets taken off so for my birthday i gifted myself canceling plans on myself and it was actually really good <laughs> so i've said this before that i like to use my birthday as kind of like that reset that a lot of people use new year's eve for you know to set up the year ahead so i like to like set up that age and just kind of think about what has been really working well for me and what I would like to change and what things I think could bring positive things to my life. It's just a really nice time for me to reflect and plan. Plus my birthday falls right around spring. So just like the atmosphere around me feels very much like new growth, a new beginning and all of that. So it just kind of lines up well with the seasons and my birthday being that spring rejuvenation, new things. All right, no. I think that's one reason why I really like my birthday where it is. It just kind of feels very optimistic around springtime. So I have some ideas about what I want to change for 32. Starting with mindfulness and yoga and just building that back into a routine. Right now, I'm giving myself like a 100 day yoga challenge and today is day 27. I haven't made it to my mat yet, but I haven't missed a day either. I think this is the longest streak of doing yoga I've ever done. And I've made myself essentially a sticker chart upstairs when my mat is just always out. And I've just made a ritual to go up and go onto my mat. Some of the sessions are only five minutes long, but long sessions are not the point of why I'm doing it. The point is to get a routine and a ritual around getting myself to my mat. And I find that maybe I'm just too tired because a lot of, a lot of my mat sessions are after the kids go to bed. So by then I'm just too tired to do anything super long, but a 10 minute yoga session or a five minute, seven minute meditation just is exactly what I need and it gets me to my mat and that's the point. That's the whole point of that for me and it just helps me be more mindful and it makes me feel more in my body which last year I was disassociating so much between postpartum stuff, newborn fog, adjusting to two kids like it was so bad. It was just really tough at that point and I feel so much more present now. I think a lot of it is because maybe my hormones have finally evened out after having Poppy. I'm actually setting time aside for myself and not just for myself, but to actually be present with myself and in my body. So that's something I would really like to keep up for all of 32. Right now we're just focusing on 100 days. And then if I do that, like no problem, I'll just put up 200 days of yoga and then just put another tracking chart on the top of the old one. The next thing that I wanna change, which I think is going to make a huge difference, is changing my scrolling habits. I feel so bad once I've spent so many hours just scrolling my phone through this endless scrolling, 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 and I just can't get it, get out of it. So I think this is the year where I cut back on social media, which is a huge deal. Like I've been chronically online since like 2003. So it's just a lot of memories uh, stored on things like Facebook and Instagram that need removing from the platforms so I can delete the platform completely. There are some things that I'm gonna keep like YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, I can't get rid of Twitter yet. <laughs> and eventually I would like to work to TikTok, but we'll see what the US government does about TikTok in the next few weeks if I even have to worry about doing it myself. But I do wanna get rid of Facebook and I do wanna get rid of Instagram. I think those are just some huge ones. I'm all, I'm done with it. So I think the mindfulness, the yoga, and cutting back on scrolling. I think they're gonna help my mental health so much and I think it's gonna set me up really well for 33. So that's my overall plan, mental first. And then I think from there, 
everything else will just fall into place so much easier. But that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will meet you back here next Tuesday.